Thunder, thunder, thunder cuts. Oh, oh. What's up, YouTube? This is Sea Dog back with another review, and this time it's on the Maddie Collectors. Lino from the Thundercats line. Here's the front of the mailer package. The side of it with the Tower of Omens. The other side of it with Lino himself. In the back. The top. And when you open that, you get the package itself. And as you can see, we got an embossed sort of omens here. From the plastic. You see how it's sticking out. And he's sitting, you know, Lino would sit back there. You got the smaller sort of omens there. Two left fists. The claw shield, and he holds his sword. Nice packaging there. The side of the packaging. The other side of the packaging with some more art. Nicely done. And the back of the packaging. With a little read up there. You can pause it if you want. Moving back to the figure, as you can see, I like how you can get the his eyes and the line of sight there. That looks really cool. He comes with some accessories, and we're going to go over the good, the bad, and the ugly, but first we're going to take care of the bad. So, a couple gripes with this figure. Uh, the same gripes a lot of people have. The first one is, I mean, I've heard the stories. Oh, sorry guys, I forgot to adjust the lighting here. I heard the stories there about um, this peg, and if you can see, when I start to lift it, see that light blue spot? That's from the stress marks already, and I haven't even taken it off. So if there's any uh, tricks anyone knows, leave it in the comment sections below because I'm actually not going to be removing this for the review because in fair if I don't want to break it. Even though I don't want it on there in the first place, I do want it intact. So if I can find a way to keep it intact, I will. But um, So that's one complaint. The other complaint is it itself because um, I'm just going to show you this right now. You take off these hands and he's got a peg in there for the second claw shield the claw shield look good by the way nice texture all over it sculpted on painted nails a matte paint for the claw shield itself we got the knuckles with circles and the gold crosses with red dots on top looks good um, what I was going to show you is if you can do this here why couldn't they figure out a way to put it over here because I'm going to try to figure something out like that. But the claw shield's cool. You can, you can, uh, it'll swivel. And it has a little, little bit of a movement on it as well. So you can get some kind of cool poses and whatnot. But we're going to remove that. And put back on one of the two hands he has. He has this hand. And he has one with a little bit bigger, I think. Almost the same. No, smaller. I don't know basically the same once you stretch them out but uh yeah he comes with two of those and the other gripe is that he doesn't have a, one for the right hand because as you can see the right hand's already getting stretched out because one uh what the reason i want one for the right hand is i want one for a little bit looser like this one that you can do this pose with and then i want one that's tighter that you don't use for that pose that will hold the sword really nice and tight because as you can see it's a little bit loose it should be a little tighter Looking at the sword itself, got a nice Thundercat sign there painted on both sides, done well. You can see a little bit of that ring from the sculpt, but uh, that's just the sculpt itself. Can I see that? Let me see. Hold on. It's on this side. Anyways, but uh, you can see metallic uh, teal there on the hilt, silver painted sword, really done nice. Uh, the Thundercat sign on his belt here. It's a little bit of scratches. Not too bad. Just one little dot there. But other than that, not too bad. A little bit of scratching too. But I think I could kind of uh, uh, polish that up. The paintwork's done nice on his leotard. It's all done really nice. The only part that I found a problem with those two spots right there that come from his head. He's got a little bit of black. He's got like a matte orange on his hair. And a little bit of black thrown in. Uh, some places more than others. I'm going to show you one spot right here. You can see it. If I can move this one point out of the way, you can see more. Oh, you can kind of see it, yep. So a little bit of stuff like that thrown in. His face is done really nice and well. Got the cat eyes. You can see little white dots in his eyes, like the anime. That looks really cool. And the cat eyes going right through down to his cheeks. You can see different color paint under his eyes and on around his goatee beard area. The detail there looks good, and the hair just nice, 
nicely done man I mean, nicely textured painted it just looks awesome man I, and one thing about this lino is you can look up I mean shit that's awesome the trim here work on his leotard is done really nice all done good there the belt's done good all the way around to the back same with the trim work all the way around to the back he's got spandex for like kind of like NECA does so you can kind of get that look it looks I like that because it looks realistic um, and it might hinder a little bit but if you know how to use it it doesn't I mean look I can kick it up that far no problem his boots are done really cool his paintwork on his boots as well so nicely done the claw shield on his hip is done the same as the claw shield uh, from reality and once again leave a comment in the comment section below if you know how I can get this off because I want to put it back in the packaging nice six pack there on his stomach alright so yeah really cool we can get him in some cool poses let's get him in one pose right here as you can see you can get him in a little bit of a toe hinge kind of position so for he doesn't have the toe hinge but he definitely balances well enough so that looks cool and uh some other poses too he's definitely a fun figure so for accessories before we go through articulation just kind of trying to whip through this because i know this review has been done and i kind of want to put my own spit on it and give some details but here's the sort of omens in the smaller you can see the metallic teal on the hilt as well as the eye is painted and silver paint on the blade itself the nice and then the larger one same metallic teal with the sword of, um, has the thundercat sign there the one with the light that goes into the air there you can see the circle on the, the sculpt right there it's not on that side but for some reason it is on that side but it's only the sculpt it's not the paint or is it I don't know anyways but nice silver paint on the blade and he's got gray plastic for the handle I guess so it doesn't um, chip or something he comes with those two hands I showed you so you got this one and then the one this one is I guess a little tighter maybe this is just supposed to be for regular holding or maybe I don't know but and then he's got this one or maybe this is the tighter one they're both about the same though for articulation he can look up as I showed you so pretty good range there and he can look down a little bit too well, not too much but more up but the fact he can look down at all he got a little tilt kind of likes to flip back up spring back a little bit but can swivel no problem and so you got some good range there he's got ball hinges on his shoulders brings you out 90 nice and he can also bring his arms right into his chest right nicely done there I tell uh, bicep swivels single jointed elbow what the hell <laughs> and hinge and swivel wrists on both sides obviously he's got an ab crunch and so go back and you can go a little bit forward you know, just a hair forward but you can go back quite a bit he's got a waist swivel he's got um, universal joints for his hips so you can kick about 80 degrees up 45 degrees back he's got a upper thigh swivel he's got the full splits he can do so that's good he's got a little bit over 90 maybe 92 degrees for his knee bend and he can go down on his foot he can go up a little bit and he's also got ankle rocker that's the first time we got ankle rocker on a Mattel figure that I can think of so all in all great figure let me know what you think of the review of the figure um, if you got any pointers for the the claw shield to get it off and uh, just what you think overall if you got something to say leave it in the comment sections below we're at 243 subs seven to go before the contest ends and without anything else to say that's it I bid you adult